everyone, and welcome to my review of the Damascus Armor Set Beta. The Damascus set isn't tied to fighting any particular monster, but it's one of the more important sets in the game, so I didn't want to leave it out of all of my reviews. I also wanted to point out that the Damascus set is one of the best looking armor sets in the game, which is why we need a layered armor version of it. We'll begin the review by looking at the defense and elemental resistance. Notice, as a Rarity 7 armor set, the starting defense is only 60, compared to 72 on a newer Gamma armor set. After being augmented, the defense for the Rarity 7 armor goes up to 86 defense per piece, which comes out to being, uh, it comes out to 6 defense less per piece of armor compared to the Gamma armor. The Gamma armor is 92. So that doesn't sound like much until you multiply this by 5. When I'm, I'm, I'm referring to like wearing a full set of Rarity 7 armor versus a full set of Gamma armor. And at that point, you're really losing 30 defense, which isn't much, but it's, you know, it is a little bit. Maybe the more important attribute to really look at is the elemental resistance on the Damascus set. And this is where it really does a terrific job. The Damascus set gets a perfect four defense against fire damage. This is extremely good because all of the end game monsters who deal elemental damage, they happen to be dealing fire damage. That includes Lunastra, Teostra, Kov Teroth, Xenajiva, and the Behemoth. So weapons that need to build the Damascus set are also naturally going to receive more fire defense than builds that do not. Well, assuming you're not taking fire defense on those other builds. The Damascus set also has a weakness to water damage, which is basically meaningless because there are no dangerous water monsters in the game. So for defense and elemental resistance, the Damascus set is going to get itself into the S tier. The next thing that we would rate is the set bonus skill. However, the Damascus set does not have a set bonus skill, so it automatically is assigned a D for this score. At this point, we can begin analyzing the individual pieces of the armor set, starting with the Damascus Helmet Beta. You'll notice it comes with two levels of defense boost and one large decoration slot. No one really uses the defense boost skill because you don't really get enough benefit for taking it. That means this is really just a helmet with no set bonus skill and a large decoration slot. So the Damascus Helmet goes right into D tier as well. You should never take this helmet. However, right after the Damascus Helmet, we get one of the best pieces of armor in the game that remains part of the armor meta even after all of these Gamma sets have come out, and of course I'm talking about the Damascus Male Beta. With this piece of armor, you're getting two levels of an important damage skill, Focus, and you're also getting three small decoration slots. This makes this chest piece part of a small group of efficient chest pieces with top efficiency, right? I'm talking about the Empress Male Beta and the Zora Magdaros Gamma, I would include the Kov Taroth Ire chest piece, but it does force you to take two levels of stun resistance, so I don't think that that would be a fair comparison. I mean, in terms of efficiency it is, but in terms of effectiveness it's not. Now it is worth mentioning that the Kushala Daora Gamma set gave us one of the best focus armor pieces in the game, the Kushala Grip Gamma. So the Damascus Mail isn't alone anymore in its capacity to build focus, however, it's still best for the chest slot, whereas Kushala Grip is best for the orange slot which you could have reserved for a different piece of armor, which is the reason why you would be interested in using uh, the Damascus set instead, right? In other words, even this late into the game, with the release of so many new armor sets, players are still reaching for that Damascus chess piece to build focus, and that's why the Damascus chess piece is going to receive an S tier rating. After the chest piece, we have the Damascus Vambraces Beta. These only come with one level of handicraft and one small decoration slot, which simply isn't efficient enough. We know you can build the handicraft charm pretty early for three levels of handicraft. You could also use the Kov Taroth Coil or the Death Stench Leggings. There are many new ways to build handicraft, and these Vambraces just aren't going to be competitive. They get a C-. However, we move on to the second interesting piece of the Damascus set, that would be the Damascus Coil Beta. This comes with one level of focus and three small decoration slots. The reason that it's so satisfying is because between this and the chest piece, you're going to finish off the focus skill and have a lot of room to build something else. For example, if you're building focus on a gun lance, then three of those slots can go toward artillery, and the other three slots can still go towards something like health boost or protection. This kind of 
uh, marries the two great things together. The fact that explosive builds on weapons like the long shell and gun lances, they don't require much to maximize their damage output, as well as the fact that there's plenty of open space, uh, small decoration slots, for packing in health boost, protection, and fortitude. So the Damascus coil ends up being an extremely good pairing for the Damascus chest piece. All right, and for the tier rating, the Damascus coil is in a special scenario where it fits extremely well into a focus plus defense niche. There are uh, there may be more optimal setups for speed running, but it's only going to be kind of a small difference. And then for defense, which primarily uses small defense slots, it's pretty much one of your best options. For the tier rating, let's go ahead and give the Damascus Coil an A tier rating for offering one of the best ways to build focus on weapons that need focus. And I'll also take a second to remind you that between this and the chest piece, you are getting your fire resistance up to 8 as well. Remember this, this particular armor set has really good fire resistance. It's just another reason why this coil is so good, because you're not going to need to be building those uh, decorations, the fire resistance decorations, right? So it's really good for defense. Finally, we have to take a look at the Damascus Greaves Beta. Similar to the helmet, these are pretty underwhelming and should be placed right into the D tier. Okay, let's go ahead and tally up the scores. The Damascus set has one of the best elemental resistance attributes in the game, so we placed it in the S tier for defense. However, it has no set bonus skill, that got a D. And then the armor slots continued on in this order. D for the helmet, S for the chest piece, C for the arms, A for the coil, and finally D for the leggings. The Damascus set ends up with a score of B-, minus, which isn't bad. Uh, I mean, just recently I was rating the uh, the, the Valhazak Gamma set, and that ended up in B- minus as well. So when you think about it, that's actually pretty good. And that's the end of my armor review for the Damascus armor set. If you made it all the way to the end of the review, consider joining my Discord channel. As usual, I'll leave a link in the description below. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.